Under the crumbling industrial landscape of eastern Ukraine, many are forced to scratch a living out of the earth in illegal coal mines like this one. There are thousands of illegal mines across this region that operate without licenses or safety checks, and, miners say, with the complicity of local police, organised crime groups and politicians. Some pits are 300 metres deep and lack adequate support and ventilation. Miners stack coal into carts that are pulled up to the surface on these pulleys. The men often work without safety equipment, insurance or any hope of a pension. Some say hundreds of miners perish under the earth each year. Every week we have accidents. Two weeks ago on our part of the mine there was an accident. One guy died and another became an invalid. Almost every day I hear news of accidents in different mines where somebody was wounded or killed. Like many others, Valera lost his job in a state-run mine when the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991. As the Donbass region went into economic freefall, he turned to drink and crime and spent more than 10 years in prison. Now illegal mining is the only work he can find. I could go to the state mine, but I would have to pay $400 for a job and I might be fired any time in the future. He can earn around $18 a day, but because the industry is unregulated, sometimes his bosses don't pay him at all. Owners often lie to workers. I know a team who were paid less and less each week they worked, and eventually they had to leave their jobs. Cheap coal from illegal pits now supplies up to 12% of Ukraine's total output and is undercutting state-owned mining, an outmoded industry that's heavily subsidized and estimated to be losing more than $120 million a year. And while officials in Europe and the United States worry about a possible Russian invasion of eastern Ukraine, many here can't see what Russia would hope to gain from it. Patrick Wells, VOA News, Donbass, Ukraine.